Hi and welcome to this quick video about two nice tricks that you can use with the keyword type alias in Swift. Now let's begin by reminding ourselves with the basic way to use a type alias. So let's say that in my app my objects have IDs and they are represented by ints. So I can create a type alias called ID that will stand for the actual int type and now whenever I have a function that is going to manipulate an ID, so for instance this fetch username function, you can see that the first argument is a user ID and I'm not using int as the type but rather the type alias called ID and this way when a developer reads the signature of the function the meaning and the semantics of the first argument is going to be much much clearer for him than if it was just written int. But now I want to direct your attention to the second argument of this function. So it's the completion handler that the function will use to return its results. And you can see that the type, it's a function type, but it feels very low level. And that's a situation where we would also like to have the benefits of a type alias. And so this is where the first feature of type alias I want to show you comes into play. It's that a type alias also works with a function type. So I'm going to select and copy the type of the function and now you see that I'm going to create a new type alias I call it completion handler and as for the type that it will stand for I just paste the function signature and now in the signature of the function fetch username I just use the type alias completion handler and you can see that now the type of the argument completion has much more meaning when you read the signature of the function but you also see that there is a big drawback to this solution is that the actual return type, so string, is hardcoded into the type alias. So if we stay this way, we would have to actually create a type alias for each possible return type, which is of course unmanageable. And this is where the second feature of type aliases comes into play, is that a type alias can also work with generic arguments. So as you can see on the type alias completion handler, I can just add a generic argument called t that I then use in the type that it stands for and now whenever I want to use completion handler I can just pass the actual type to use as the generic argument so here it's string and you can see that now we have generic type alias over our function type and for the function fetch username we can see that now both arguments have meaningful names that are going to be very clear and carry really well their meaning when a developer reads the signature of the function. Thank you.